Understanding Empty Nest Syndrome, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore an interesting and emotional topic that affects many families around the world. Empty Nest Syndrome. It's a term you might have heard before, but what does it really mean? Let's dive into this topic together, breaking it down to understand not just its definition, but also its impact. We hope this video will enlighten and help those experiencing it or those who want to learn more about this significant life transition. Empty nest syndrome refers to a feeling of sadness, loneliness, or emptiness that parents or guardians might feel when their children leave home for the first time. This could be for college, a job, marriage, or any other reason that leads to children moving out. It's called an empty nest, because the family home, once full of life and activity, now feels empty without the children's presence. Despite not being a clinical condition, it's a significant emotional experience that many parents go through. The main cause of empty nest syndrome is the significant change in the family dynamic. Parents who have spent years focusing on their children's needs may find themselves unsure of what to do with their newfound free time. Common symptoms include sadness and melancholy, missing the daily interactions with children, loss of purpose or identity, particularly for those who heavily invested their identity in being a parent. Anxiety about the children's safety and well-being away from home. Difficulty finding activities to fill the time previously spent on parenting tasks. Fortunately, there are many ways to cope with empty nest syndrome. Here are a few. 1. Reconnect with hobbies or interests that you might have put aside. 2. Strengthen relationships with your partner, friends, and other family members. 3. Set new goals for personal and professional growth. 4. Stay in touch with your children through calls, texts, and visits, but also give them space to grow independently. 5. Consider volunteering or getting involved in community activities. While it's normal to feel sad during this transition, it's important to monitor your emotional health. If you find that your feelings of sadness are deepening into depression, or if you're struggling to find joy in any activities, it might be time to seek professional help. Therapy or counseling can provide support and strategies for managing this transition more effectively. Empty nest syndrome is a natural part of the parenting journey for many people. It symbolizes a significant shift in family life but also opens the door to new opportunities for growth and exploration. If you or someone you know is going through this, remember that it's okay to feel sad. But there are many ways to find fulfillment and happiness in this new chapter. We hope this video has been informative and helpful. Take care, and see you in the next video.